Swedish automaker Koenigsegg has once again shattered the limits of automotive innovation with its groundbreaking hybrid powertrain. Powered by cutting-edge free-valve technology and renewable fuel, the tiny, friendly giant engine is set to revolutionize the EV industry by delivering ultra-low emissions, exceptional efficiency, and unmatched versatility. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news. Be part of the community today. How did Koenigsegg manage to engineer a compact, lightweight marvel that outperforms traditional systems? And what does this mean for the future of sustainable mobility? Let's dive into the story behind the engine that's poised to disrupt the EV landscape. The world got its first look at Koenigsegg's revolutionary engine during a packed unveiling at the Geneva International Motor Show in Switzerland. The venue, now rebranded as a mobility show, buzzed with anticipation as media, car enthusiasts, and industry leaders gathered for a revelation that promised to reshape electric vehicle technology forever. Taking center stage was Christian von Koenigsegg, the visionary founder and CEO of Koenigsegg Automotive. But this event wasn't about unveiling another hypercar. It was about something even more transformative, a game-changing engine set to redefine the future of electric mobility like never before. While the EV industry has seen remarkable advancements, challenges like inefficient batteries, long charging times, and the environmental toll of rare earth mining have held back progress. Koenigsegg's revolutionary engine doesn't just tackle these issues head-on, it raises the bar for performance, sustainability, and practicality. We are talking about the tiny, friendly, giant engine. Get ready as we reveal the mind-blowing design ingenuity that goes into this engine of the future. The compact size of the TFG left many industry experts speechless. Despite its size, it is a three-cylinder, twin-turbocharged internal combustion engine producing 600 horsepower. According to Koenigsegg, this is not just an engine, it is a key to the future. The secret to the TFG engine's capability is the free valve technology. Unlike traditional engines, which rely on a camshaft to control valves, the TFG relies on electrohydraulic pneumatic actuators. This design allows for individual valve control, translating into high efficiency and performance. The engine could instantly adapt to any driving condition, optimizing real-time fuel consumption and power output. According to Christian von Koenigsegg with Free Valve Technology, Koenigsegg Automotive has eliminated wasted energy and unlocked a level of flexibility no engine has ever achieved. It is compact enough to fit in small vehicles, yet powerful enough for high-performance applications. Most importantly, it is designed for renewable fuels sitting between traditional combustion and sustainable energy engines. We know you are wondering whether an internal combustion engine can truly be part of the future of EVs. Luckily, Christian addressed it head on. While electric batteries are important, relying solely on them is neither practical nor sustainable in the long term. Using renewable fuels such as bioethanol or synthetic gasoline, the TFG provides a cleaner alternative without the heavy environmental costs associated with battery mining. What truly sets the TFG apart isn't just its efficiency or compatibility with renewable fuels, it's its versatility in hybrid systems. The TFG was built to function as a range extender in electric vehicles. Today, China leads the world in EV production and sales, accounting for nearly half of all EVs globally. By the mid-2010s, China's EV market had started gaining momentum. The government rolled out aggressive incentives for NEV production, pushing automakers to increase their EV output. Cities like Shenzhen and Beijing began transitioning public transportation fleets, particularly buses, to electric power. In just three years, all of Shenzhen's 16,000 buses had gone electric. The city's bus drivers were retrained, and there are now 5,000 charging points at bus depots. 
China's ability to build EV infrastructure, like charging stations, also improved dramatically, with cities mandating the construction of public and residential charging points. By 2020, China had become the undisputed global leader in electric vehicle production and sales. In that year alone, 1.3 million plug-in EVs were sold in China, representing over 40% of global sales. This explosive growth was driven by consumer demand, improved technology, and government policies that included strict quotas on automakers for EV production. China's domestic manufacturers, particularly BYD, NIO, Xpeng, and Sayek Motor, continued to innovate, producing EVs that were more affordable and competitive in both quality and performance compared to their foreign counterparts. Tesla, recognizing the importance of the Chinese market, opened its Gigafactory in Shanghai in 2020. This marked the first time a foreign automaker was allowed to fully own a factory in China. Tesla's success in China further validated the country's growing EV market. In 2021, the Chinese government continued its commitment to NEVs with the announcement of the dual credit system, which set mandatory quotas for automakers to produce electric vehicles. The government also began reducing subsidies to encourage the industry to become self-sustaining pushing manufacturers to improve cost efficiency and technological innovation. The 24th China High Tech Fair concluded on Saturday in Shenzhen, South China's Guangdong province, highlighting innovation-driven development. The five-day event attracted over 5,600 exhibitors from 41 countries and regions. By 2023, plug-in EVs accounted for 37% of vehicle sales in China, with battery-only EVs holding a 25% market share, demonstrating the massive shift toward fully electric solutions. Do you think the tiny, friendly, giant engine will revolutionize the EV industry beyond our expectations? We would love to know your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching the video, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, click the following video on your screen. You'll enjoy it.